Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada Lightbox element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. There is a Lightbox integrated into the Image, Image Carousel and Gallery elements, but today let's look at the standalone Lightbox element. It does a few unique things. I'll just add the element to the Avada Landing Product pre-built here. I'll just delete the image element and add a lightbox element here instead. As there's no thumbnail images yet, there's nothing to see. The default content type is image, and the first option is for adding an image thumbnail. But as the second option shows us, the content type can also be a video or a link. There's not a lot of difference between this and the image element when using an image as the content type, and in fact there are more options in the image element such as styles and hover types and borders etc. But sometimes you just need a simple element for a simple task. I'll just add my thumbnail image to trigger the light box. I'll choose the same image that was here and insert that. The next option is full image, and here we need to choose our full image to be displayed in the light box. Most times it will just be a larger version of the thumbnail image, but it can be any image at all. Just for an example, I will choose this one. Below this, we have an option for alt text and one for both a lightbox title and a lightbox description, which are displayed respectively above and below the image in the lightbox. I'll just add a title and a description so we can see how they display. I won't bother with the alt text in this example, for as the description explains, the alt attribute provides alternative information if an image cannot be viewed. Ok, so now if I click on the image, we get the lightbox coming up with the chosen image and the title and the description. All good and very simple. Now let's look at using the video content type. With this content type you can easily add a video that will open in a lightbox. I'll add the video URL in the video URL field, and I'm good to go. You could also do this with a combination of a modal text HTML link and a modal element if you wanted, but this is a much simpler way to achieve this reasonably common task. There's no indication this will trigger a video on the front end, but in a situation like this, I might just add a prompt to users that they can open a video here by adding some text at the bottom of this paragraph and making it bold through the inline editor. Ok, so again, let's click on our trigger image, and here's our video loading in the lightbox, ready to play. The last three options for this element are the ubiquitous element visibility option to control the element's visibility on different screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields for custom CSS. So not many options, but simple and specific functionality to do a particular task. Finally, we can also use the lightbox element to display a link. I'll just change the content type to link, and add my link URL, and if I click, there's our link opening in the lightbox. Ok, so that's the lightbox element. Be sure to watch the how to use the lightbox in Avada video for other uses of the lightbox across your Avada site. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.